Some forno d'azolo ready-to-bake specialities are made of puff pastry, such as conchiglia, perciocco, strudolino, viennese and braided treccia pastries. These are all different types of treats, but we're presenting them together because their cooking times and procedures are the same. So, if you want, you can put them in the oven at the same time. They all go straight from freezer to oven. For perfect baking, we recommend preheating the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit. One warning, do not microwave under any circumstances. We'll be using an electric ventilated oven. If you're using another kind, temperatures and cooking times may vary. In this case, therefore, pay attention to the process we'll be showing you to recognize the signs that the product has been correctly baked. As you're waiting for the oven to reach its temperature, remove the specialities from the freezer and place them on baking sheets lined with parchment paper. Place each piece about 2 cm apart to allow the heat to circulate well for even baking. When the ovens reach the set temperature, pop in the specialities. It's very important for the oven to be fully heated, otherwise the puff pastry won't rise. So, check the temperature before you put the baking sheets in. Bake for 20 minutes. Here's a tip. Five minutes after baking begins, lower the temperature to 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit. This trick helps prevent burning. The pastry rises well, the product is golden brown and bakes perfectly on the inside too. Once the necessary time has passed, remove from the oven. If the specialities are too brown, the oven temperature is too high or the treat has been in the oven for too long. If the product is pale or the folds in the dough are pale. This means that it hasn't spent enough time in the oven or the oven was not up to the right temperature when you put it in. The perfect baking gives the product an even golden brown color with no paler or darker areas. It should be eaten within 24 hours.